guys, today I have moved all the way to the bottom of Hole of Masters for this video alone. How far up ladder can I go without losing a singular match? Let's find out. All right, for my first game here, I'm against Mr. Amber Leader 4240 on the map Glade. And they're starting with that Alchemist right there. That's actually really interesting. I'm going the strategy of DJ Benjamin on um, Farm, Dartling, and Ninja, of course. This is probably the best strategy right now, I'd say so. So um, obviously, we're trying to win every game here, so I want to go the best strategies. But yeah. We'll see how this game goes. We'll see how this game goes. And if you did notice in the introduction of this video, guys, I'm actually 71st in the world, not 74th. So I'm not actually the last place person. And the reason behind that is I tried so hard, guys. I threw so many games, believe it or not, to try to get last place. And I lost like 10 games in a row, and I was just stuck on 71st the entire time. I did not move down. So surprisingly enough, even with trying to go down the ranks as much as possible, I'm still not as bad as White Mama Balloon, because he's below me on the ranking system. So I don't know what to say there, Mr. White Mamba, but um, yeah, that's kind of that's kind of rough. It's kind of rough. But yeah, let's continue on. Um, build my farm up. Oh, why did I build a farm up? I'm actually kind of stupid. I should have went for a DJ Benjamin. It's okay. We'll go for my DJ Benjamin, I guess, um, this next round here. I guess we'll go for the farm first. Why not? Why not switch it up here a little bit? And it looks like they started off with their uh, church showdown right there, so that's cool, cool, cool. We'll get DJ Benjamin up this round, hopefully. And I also have to defend these blue balloons, but I think I should be able to greed for DJ Benjamin first, and then I can upgrade my darling later. Right? Right? Uh, he's actually sending me some. This is gonna be. This is gonna suck. I have to boost this. I do have to boost this. I shouldn't have... I messed up so much by going for my farm first, actually. I just should have been more um, cautious there. I definitely should have been more cautious. It's okay. Let's get my Darling upgraded now. At least we're alive, you know? At least we don't... Hopefully we don't lose the first game. Because I want this video to be pretty um, good. And maybe put multiple parts in the video as well. If the first part's already like an hour long, you know what I'm saying? So, we'll see. We'll see how this goes, though. Get, up this, get this farm upgraded a little bit. They have a hot shot. So they're going Alchemist Boat Churchill. What do we think the last tower is? It's probably Alk Boat, Alk Boat um, Spactory, I guess it would be. Because I've seen that strategy actually quite a bit. Alk Boat Spactory would make the most sense to me here. Let's get this upgraded to Powerful Darts, though. Just so I don't leak any more. Because I don't want to... I've already leaked down to 71 lives. So hopefully we um stay healthy on the life count besides that. That would be best for me here. Just trying to send some balloons my way. I don't think it's going to push at all, though. Yeah, Dartling, Dartling handles that. Dartling handles that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Will Black Balloons push on him, though? Because the thing is... Oh, they have a cannon chip up now. They're, they'll be good against Black Balloons. I was going to say, with the only the Hot Shot, they might not pop all the Black Layers down. And then the Churchill obviously can't pop um, the Black Layer itself. So the Black Balloons would be able to push there. But since they have the, the cannon chip now, I think they'll be fine against Black Balloons. Oh, and we're sinking. Oh, we're back. We're back. We're back. Cool, cool. No worries. Let's get the second farm up. Greater production. Great. He's using turbo damage laser bombs, so they're good. Let's um, get another Dartling down. Oh, I can fit it. I can fit it. There we go. Awesome. That's going to be my Hydro Rocket Pod spot later in the game, so I wanted to make sure I could fit it perfectly over there. We should be fine against the L Balloons. If he sends, like, infinite, I can also use my DJ Benjamin ability, which will help out there, but I think we're going to be good here. Nonetheless, I think we'll be solid. So that's great. Oh, actually, let's just use DJ Benjamin ability. Yeah, because these actually are somewhat pushing. And we can eat up all those balloons here. Great. Go for another farm. So I have three farms down. I think I can go for probably one more. And then I'll have to start saving up for my um, Hydro Rocket Pods for around 11 rushes. But I think one more farm and we'll be good. Because if he sends like a Region Zebra Rush, I can always um, use the DJ Benjamin ability once again. Since I'll have that back off cooldown. Which is great. I'll start sending some red balloons just to make sure we build up our money. Okay, he's sending some of that. So let's go for the DJ Benjamin ability. And I can go for another Dartling right there as well. Okay, we're good. We're good. How much is sell for? 1,200? Okay. I should be able to forward my Hydro Rocket Pods here. One income boost. Calculated. Yes, sir. We're good. They have their Alk Buff Boat, so there's no reason for me to rush them up. Alk Buff Boat, guys, is actually so strong. It's kind of ridiculous how good it is. It's kind of ridiculous how good the Alk Buff is on the boat. So we'll just build up another Marketplace. Our Eco is actually kind of solid as well. Like, look, almost 800 Eco. We're doing very good in terms of, like, greeting and stuff. I'm kind of unfortunate. It's kind of unfortunate that I am down one boost here, but, I mean, 
what can you do about that? We kind of messed up our start there, so that's why we are down a boost. That is why we are down a boost here. All right, nice, nice, nice. My eco's actually lagged. Like, look at this. I can't send any balloons right now. Oh, now I can. Okay, cool. It's lagged at like two balloons. Like, I send more, but then it's stuck on two. That's so weird. I just use DJ Benjamin's ability right there. We're good. If he re-rushes, I can just rocket storm it. So we're good there. Yeah, it's stuck on two balloon sins. That's that's literally so odd. I've never seen that before. Because normally, like when it's stuck, you just can't send balloons for that amount of time. But whenever I send balloons, it just gets back to two. You know what I mean? Okay, we can go for another farm right there. We have four marketplaces down. Once I get about eight thousand dollars, I'll probably sell one marketplace and get up a central market. And that'll be pretty solid. I have my DJ Benjamin ability back off cooldown as well in case he sends me a rush. Which is great. But I think I should be able to get really solid farms this game. Just based on where my current greed is at. There we go. We should also probably go for a ninja here up top as much as possible. Just so I can sticky bomb a Moab right when it comes out, basically. Because that's very important. I'll probably just sticky bomb one mo singular mob if they send it, just to be safe, because I feel like I'm in a really good position here, so I just want to be safe with my defense, you know what I'm saying? Better safe than sorry here. Let's see if they send me a Moab. Looks like they're not. Okay, they're just building up merchantman farms, which is really interesting. Merchantman farming is something you don't really see too often here, so. Okay, there's a Moab. We're good. We should be good there. Yeah, we're Gucci. Awesome. Awesome sauce. I could have used DJ Benjamin ability as well if the balloons pushed too much there, but the, the hydropods soloed everything, so we're good. It soloed everything. Once I get 12,500, I'll just get up the second marketplace. The reason I don't want to sell this, by the way, to get up the central market is because then if he sends me like a bunch of four or five mobs, I probably would have to sell central market to defend, right? So I obviously want to have something I can sell that's cheaper to defend there, so I don't lose as much. Um, how much does it sell for? About 19,000. Okay, I go for one up. That's, he's sending me some balloons. Oh, we're good against that. That was just a one little fortified mob. We're totally good. I, I thought he was going to send me like a bunch. That was wild. I was kind of scared. Okay, we're good. Yeah, what's that? 19,000. This sells for 24,000, so I need 13,500. There we go. Beautiful. Calculated. Okay, we're good there. Nice. Calculated. We got the round 19 Monkey Wall Street right there, guys, on Glade as well. Glade is like a map where you don't really get that early stuff, right? That's not really a map that's normal for that. Let's go for the Shimmer. We should be good there. We're not the Shimmer, but the um, DJ Benjamin ability. Well, why am I calling it Shimmer? That's so weird. That's actually so odd why I called it Shimmer. All right, should be good here if I can get the Rocket Storm back off cooldown. Actually, let's just boost this. We're good on boost, yeah. I didn't have my Rocket Storm back off cooldown, so I think I just needed to boost that, which is totally fine. Let's send them a normal ZMG. Wait, I can't send it because it's stuck on two. What? It's my... Okay, there we go. I actually sent it there. Cool, cool, cool. I was going to say, if I couldn't send it there, that would actually be kind of annoying. Because he might... We'll have to boat pull this, I think. And the thing is, a boat pull is expensive. At least more expensive than, um, I think, sending a ZMG. Let's make sure we defend this, though, and not die. They end up boat pulling it. Well done. Let's use that. Let's use that. Let's use that. We're good. Okay. I don't think I needed the second Plasma Accelerator, but it's always just to be safe there. It's better just to be safe. Especially when I'm in a really good position. You know what I'm saying? Especially when I'm already in a really good position. Okay, we're sinking again. Let's please come back to the game. We're back. We're back. Let's go. 
Round 25. Let's just get up another central market. If they send me like all out DTs, I'm gonna have two sticky bombs on standby here. Pretty much. Just so that everything's sticky, you know? Because this is such a short map that DT rushes can be kind of scary. It's such a short map. Okay, he does have spa spactory, as expected. He does have spactory, I just realized that. Alright, fair enough. How much does he sell for? About 30,000? So I need roughly 30,000 to get my banana central up. We're good there. Just get up a master bomber. Yep, we're good. Awesome, defend. And I think he's dead against some. Yep, that's GG's. Cool. That's our first game right there, guys. I'll catch you. Let's see what my rank is after one game. Let's see if we moved up at all. Dude, <laughs> we moved up from 71st to 54th with one game. That's actually nuts. That's 17 spots. All right, let's get in the next game and see what happens. That's actually crazy amount. All right, guys, my next match here is against Mr. Amber Leader 4240 on the map. Um, same time with the strategy DJ Benjamin, Farm, Dartling, and Super Monkey this time. Yes, I switched out Ninja for Super Monkey. Not because I necessarily think it's better. It's um both are actually very good. But the reason is just, I just want to kind of switch it up. I don't want to use Dartling Ninja every single game this video, you know what I'm saying? So if I can switch it up here, I'll switch it up, you know? Super Monkey is also really fun, so we'll try this out. Obviously, though, I want to stall the rounds, especially when I'm facing Dartling as well. So stalling the rounds is going to be one of my top priorities here early on. Just making sure these rounds go as long as humanly possible before we pop down the AI balloons. And yeah, that'll be the plan. Now, I do want to get my DJ Benjamin on round two, as always. I think this guy's going DJ Benjamin as well, so I'm guessing they're going Dartling Ninja. So, that'll be an interesting match. A Dartling Ninja farm versus... Oh, they're actually starting with their farm there, not their Benjamin. I think that's a mistake. Dartling Ninja farm versus Dartling uh, Super Farm. That is going to be interesting right there. That will be interesting. Last game was actually kind of close, guys, as well. Like, the DDT rush at the end got kind of scary. I got the Master Bomber down, but I didn't have enough Shinobi buffs at the start to just, like, deal with everything. So I needed to, like, kind of micro a little bit. So that was, that was pretty spooky, pretty scary. But we defended, and we actually got the win, which was nice. And we moved up, like, what, 51st? No, it was 71st to 54th. That's 17 spots. That's actually, like, a, nut, a crazy amount. If I moved up that every single time... I'd be top one in like four more games, guys. Obviously, that's not going to happen, but <laughs> that'd still be crazy to think about, you know? That'd be crazy to think about. So yeah, let's continue ecoing here, though. And we'll get up our next farm once I can afford it, obviously. Looks like they're playing this more spaced eco-type game and just building up farms as much as possible. So a bit of a different game plan from both sides, it looks like right now. A bit of a different game plan. We'll see whose game plan's better. Looks like they got up their DJ Benjamin now. Okay, so they waited a little bit to get up their DJ Benjamin. I wonder if that's a smarter play. I think normally getting it up as soon as possible is the best plan, but I don't know. I don't exactly know. I haven't done the math on it in specific, you know what I'm saying? I send them some white balloons now, though, just to force their powerful darts and their dartling. He only sent me like two sets, so I'm not going to have to upgrade. Which keeps sending until we force their upgrades. Yes, sir. They're leaking a lot. You need to upgrade your dartling, my guy. There we go. We forced the powerful darts. Great. And now we'll just send some blues again. They have still not forced my powerful darts, which is phenomenal. Because now, like, look. I'm almost tied with them in farms now, even though I have much more eco. And that's because I forced upgrades on their side. You know what I'm saying? Alright, let's use the DJ Benjamin ability here. Just to eat away at this stuff for a little bit while I save up for my powerful darts. Now I have the powerful darts up, so I should be fine. Beautiful right there. Go for another farm. I'll send them some yell balloons next round. Um, One, just for eco, but two, I want to force a um, second dartling on their side. Just a little zero zero dartling would be nice to force with some yell balloons. Oh, we're sink, Dude, what is up with the sinking? My internet connection's fine. I don't know what's going on there. All right, send them some yell balloons. They use the DJ Benjamin ability. That'll handle them for a while, but once it's over, they'll need another Dartling here. Yep, there we go. We forced another Dartling. That's great. That's exactly what I wanted there. Let's use our DJ Benjamin ability, because they sent me some yells. We should be good against these. Beautiful. Go for a farm. If they send again, I'll just go for another Dartling. But it doesn't look like they are. Okay, cool. Three farms. This is actually pretty good for me, especially with how much eco I have. 
I'm pretty happy with my position. Obviously, they have a slight farm lead on me, but I honestly don't see that a very big concern because I think my eco lead is big enough to counteract that. And second off, if it's a scenario both people have a ton of money late game, I'm in a better position than a Dartling Ninja player, right? Because super is better late game if you have a lot of money. But if it's both scenario both of us have a little bit less money, then Ninja is going to be in a better scenario there. So that's something we need to watch out for. Target my Dirtlings downward. Okay, we're good. Stole this round out. I actually probably could have went for one more farm, believe it or not, because I'm going to go forward this Hydrocopods pretty easily here. Yeah. I'm going to forward this without any issues. It's okay. Do I go for a bank? Ooh, a bank could be interesting. Why not? Why not go for a little banks, bank action this time around? Because Benjamin does buff banks, which is pretty cool. Benjamin does indeed buff banks. So we'll go for a bank on round 12. Nice. And I'll continue ecoing a little bit. I want to get to like 1250 eco or so. And while we eco, we'll just build up farms with the rest of our money. Looks like they're just going for the straight marketplace route, which is fine. Maybe I shouldn't have gone for a bank. It's sometimes fun to go for a bank when you have normal Benjamin, because it buffs the banks even more. But DJ Benjamin still buffs the banks, but just not as much, you know? So, I don't know. I don't know if the bank play was the move here, but it's definitely definitely fun and different. So, it's it's nice for, to do that for a change. It's always nice to do that for a little change action. All right, let's go for another... Let's go for a marketplace right here in a second. Nice. How much does it give me? $1,600? That's not... It's okay. I think the main reason... Like, it's crazy to think about, but the main reason you bring Benjamin is not really for the money. It's more so for defending round 13 rushes and stuff. Like, Ocean Oban and Oban give you pretty much just as much money, if not more in some cases, than Benjamin will. But Benjamin just helps you out defend those mid-game rushes and stuff much more. So I think that's why it's so good. Let's get another farm right there. Beautiful. How much is... Okay, this has 4,400 in it. Okay. Nice to know. Obviously, don't want to cash it out till it's pretty much full there. So that's something we'll make sure to do. He's still... E oh, I just realized this guy's equaling at me the entire time. And they went for a bank as well. I think that's a mistake. Because you want to get your bank as soon as possible so the interest has time to build up and everything. But them getting their bank on like round 15 or 16. I don't remember when they specifically got it. I don't think that's very smart there. I do not think that's the smartest decision. But yeah. I said 1250 eco, but I think I'm going to go to like 2k here, <laughs> to be honest with you. The game is going to have so much money in it that I think having just higher eco since I'll have max farm spots is going to be smart. Imagine this guy actually has like um super, mon super monkey in their loadout as well. That could make for an interesting one. Because at the current moment, I'm assuming they have ninja, but they could have super monkey, which would change stuff up, right? That would definitely change stuff up there. All right, we're going to find out what the third tower is. We're going to send them a um, fortified mob real quick. We'll balloon boost it as well. It is ninja. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So it is ninja. So we do have the late game advantage, which is absolutely great. How much is having it? 8k. Awesome. We just hit 2,000 eco right there, guys. With only yellow balloons. That's actually crazy how much eco we have. That's actually nuts. Okay, they're sending me a fortified mob. Let's get up a um, super monkey on strong. Nice. I should also probably upgrade it to knockback here, I think. Yeah. Knockback, and I can use DJ Benjamin ability as well. And that should be fine to defend. Uh, do I need to... Okay, I'm actually going to need to upgrade it to a Dark Knight, I think. Here. Unfortunately. Yeah. It's okay. We'll get up my Monkey Wall Street next round. There we go. Got up the Monkey Wall Street. Beautiful. 2,000 eco as well on the hand. So we're good. I can also sell my Dark Knight, obviously. I don't know if that's the way you defend multiple fortified mobs right there. The Dark Knight. It's obviously really expensive. So I don't know if that's the ma that's the move, but that's kind of what I did there. I could have, I guess, boosted or something else, probably. And that would have been slightly better, but who knows? Who knows? We're gonna continue farming on though, obviously, and getting some more eco while we're at it. I'm already at what 2.5k eco almost. That's actually nuts. I'm gonna have so much money, as I said before. I'm gonna have literally so much money here. 2,500 eco. Great. Are they going to send me a ZMG? That could be interesting. They are going to send me a ZMG. Okay. Um, I already have a Dark Knight up, which is great. 
The CMG actually won't slow down my farms very much because I have so much money coming in already. That's not going to make much of a difference. It's not going to make much of a difference right there. Let's get this on strong, though. He's sending me another one. Oh, they're dead against AI. Oh my gosh, that was so anticlimactic, dude. I mean, I was in a great position anyways. I think I definitely just would have won that, but yeah. Let's see if my rank moved at all. I think I was 54th. Dude, I'm 41st now. I moved up another 13 spots. Oh my gosh, this is actually giving me so much confidence here. I didn't think I was going to move up so much. Maybe I'm just playing high elo players or something. Alright guys, our next game here is on Garden. Um, against Glue Gunner equals OP. We're going Ninja this time instead of Super Monkey. I just don't think Super Monkey is really playable on this map. The map's too difficult where you kind of just need Ninja. But yeah, it looks like they're going Dart, which is interesting right there. They are bringing the Dart Tower. So we'll have to see if this guy's bringing Dart Farm Sniper maybe, or if they're bringing some Eco Strategy. If they're bringing an Eco Strategy, I obviously want an Anti Stall, but if they're bringing Dart Farm Sniper, I probably want to stall the rounds. So we'll just see. We'll see. But at the current state, I think just stolen the round is probably going to be best for me. Just early on. So that's what we'll do. Make sure to wait as long as possible to pop these AI balloons down. And also get my DJ Benjamin on round 2, as always, lads. Okay, they are doing the Churchill round 2 start. So that does make lead me to believe they do have Dart Ninja Sniper. But not Dart Ninja Sniper. Dart uh, Sniper Farm, my bad. That leads me to believe they do have Dart Sniper Farm. But obviously we do not know yet. So I actually tar start targeting my Dartling towards the start to try to antest a little bit because I think they do have it, but again, I have no idea yet. And they are max ecoing, which who knows? Who knows? I keep I keep back and forth and going forth and back on what strategy I think they have. But I, it, this guy likes to bring a lot of random strategies, and no, I think they actually stream on Twitch. This glue gunner OP guy, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Continue max ecoing though. Even if we are anti stalling I think Max Eco is still a play here. I'll switch to Space Deco on round like 6 or so. And we'll just build up farms once I get enough money as well. Once I get enough money here, hopefully, what, one more income boost and I can build up my farm? Nice. That works out. It checks out, guys. There we go. Get a farm up. Beautiful. I won't Green Eco, though. Green Eco is just too inefficient. I think we'll just switch, stick with Blue Eco. Okay, they are green eco which means, yeah, they're, they might be going into eco strategy then. It, I don't really see people with banana farms go with green eco here, so that leads me to believe they've got some sort of eco strategy. Which is interesting. Starting my dartling downwards now, and hopefully we can get the powerful darts here in a second. Beautiful. There it is. Calculated. Let's target my dartling back up so we can anti stall. And farm on. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We'll switch to Space Eco now as well in round 6, as I said before. Let's, uh, let's use another DJ Benjamin ability here. Just to make sure we can antest all this against these bl black balloons. I'll also go for another Dartling as well, if I can fit it. Please fit. Oh my gosh, it won't fit, bro. Problem of my life right there, guys. Alright, alright. Let's um, continue Eco on here. You did not hear that. Another farm right there. Beautiful. I'm guessing he's going to send me some yellow balloons here. Yeah. Layered over with the black balloons. I should be fine against these because I'll get the DJ Benjamin back ability back off cooldown. Yeah. We should be fine against these then. I can target my dartlings like this just to eat away at all those balloons. Yeah, we're absolutely good. We're absolutely golden there. He is balloon boosting now. So let's go for a faster barrel spin on that one. We're golden. It's looking scary. It's looking scary. Don't. I know as well, guys. I know it looks scary, but we're good. We'll go for one more farm. And this will be my last farm until I get like the hydropods and stuff on round uh, 10. On round 10, I'll get hydropods. So that's my last farm right there. Let's go. Let's get an obstacle as well. Great. He is not sending me region zebras, okay? So what do we think the other towers are? If they do not have sniper... Oh, they do have sniper. Maybe they're going dart sniper village. I've actually seen that strategy as well. It could be dart sniper village here. So I'll have to be aware of that. Alright, switch over to lead balloons now. It's round 10. They're sending me leads. I should be afford this. Beautiful. Calculated. As always. Raguchi, Raguchi. 
And then once I can, I'll start building up these um, farms. I think I'll go for a banana plantation this time around. Why not? Why not go for a little plantation action? That'll be pretty fun. Pretty poggers, am I right? Let's target my dartling at the very start here and get up the laser shock as well. Just so then I'm actually anti-stalling. Properly. A proper anti-stall is very important here. If he does send me some sort of region rainbow rush, I can just uh, DJ Benjamin ability it. And if he sends a follow up, I can rocket storm. That'll be the goal. My eco is actually really good here. 869. I think that means I didn't anti stall very well, to be honest. So they probably have a really solid eco as well. Yeah, that probably means I did not very anti stall too well early game. Let's send them a rush. I don't know if that defends, to be honest. I don't know if that defends. Oh, that defends brilliantly. I'm actually dumb. I'm actually really dumb. I thought that wouldn't defend. On boost. I'm stupid. Let's force a juggernaut at least, though. Okay, we forced a jug. That's fine. Yeah, that first rush, I definitely went too hard on it. I thought, for some reason, a boost and everything wouldn't defend, but it just defended really easily. And I kind of sat there looking dumb. Now, if they send me mobs, I will have to go for a um, ninja with st uh, sticky bomb and stuff, so we'll w watch out for that. I actually have over a thousand eco now, which is pretty solid. Obviously, those rushes weren't the smartest, but at least it gave me some eco, you know what I'm saying? At least it gave me some eco. I need 11,500 here to get my farm up. There we go. Beautiful. Farm is up. Banana research facility. Looks like they got up their elite sniper as well. I think I'll send them a fortified mob next round just to force like a deadly precision or something on their side. But yeah. Besides that, I won't be sending too much more here. And I'll just be farming on. As is right now. I might send them some ZOMGs and stuff later just because there isn't very many farm slots in this map so I can't go full passive. But I do want to obviously limit their eco somewhat. Okay, they're sending me another region rainbow rush. Do I have to rocket storm this? We're good. We're good. Okay. That got kind of scary. It's hard to gauge how far region rainbows are going to push sometimes. It's really hard to gauge it. Okay, we forced a deadly precision sniper right there. That's what I was talking about, forcing. And another one as well. That's actually good. Nice. Nice forcing. That was, a, that was a nice rush right there, I think. We should be good right there. No, I'm dead. Oh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Oh, my gosh. That was, that was that was more scary than I thought it'd be. Okay, I should be able to get my Monkey Wall Street next round. I should be able to get my Monkey Wall Street next round. These rushes are scaring me a lot, dude. They're pushing a lot more than I thought they would ever. The Dartling spot on this map's just not super good in comparison to some other maps, I think. Let's send them a fortified ZOMG. see what they do here. And we'll farm on. I guess I could send another one as well. Would two fortified ZMGs hurt? I don't know. I don't know if that's the move. It's hard to say sometimes. Okay, this round's round 23, so let's actually go for another Hydro Rocket Pods, believe it or not. Just to defend this. Oh, and we're still somehow leaking, almost. Dude, round 23 is nutty. It's actually so hard to defend. Okay, we got up a banana research facility now. I need to target my dartlings like this, dude. I need to anti-stall. I should have been doing this earlier. Anti-stalling is so important for me. I just keep forgetting about it. It's so important. I think they'll have their Sentai Churchill ability here soon, which will pretty much just deal with the ZOMG, and then they'll just get up an Ultra Dragon and it'll be fine, so... I don't think they'll struggle too much against this here. Yeah, they got up their Ultra Juggernaut, as expected. They'll be good here. They will be good. So, well done to them for the defend. Well done. If 
if they send me DDTs, I get up another Sticky Bomb. And I, I, should, I um, get up a Sabotage Supply Lines, and we'll be solid. But it does not look like they're interested in sending me DDTs at the moment. Well, it's actually around 25. They can't even send me DDTs, is what I'm saying. They can't even send DDTs at the moment. I still don't actually know the last tower, by the way, right? It could be Ice, I guess. Ice would make some sense, maybe. But yeah, they haven't revealed it. Let's get up some Shinobi stacks on this, just in case he does DDT me, I can get up a Master Bomber. Oh, it's Alchemist. That's really interesting. Alright. Alchemist. I did not expect that, to be honest with you. I thought it'd be like Ice or Village. I mean, it's another buffing tower, right? But I feel like Ice or Village might be better there. Uh, eight stacks. That's probably all we will get right now, I think. Is that all the farms I can place? Yeah. I, could, I would be able to fit another farm right here, but I need my Sticky Bomb right there, so I just can't fit it. It's okay, though. Alright, we'll start sending them spaced. The reason I'm sending spaced, by the way, is just to keep forcing um, fan clubs on their side. Forcing Plasma Monkey fan clubs left and right, because they'll lose a lot of money doing that. Yeah, there's a Plasma Monkey fan club. Nice. And a boost as well. They'll definitely shred this one. They'll shred it. But the thing is, they'll have to keep Plasma Monkey fan clubbing, which is great for me. Because it's cost that ability costs so much. It's actually really expensive. Are they dead here against Moabs? No shot. They're dead. They're dead. Awesome. Let's see where we move to. 28th, dude. What? I moved up another 13 spots. I'm speed running this. I'm literally speed running this. That's actually. I was literally 71st not too long ago. All right, guys. For my next game here, I found someone who's actually really good. It's Adam the Pig. He's been on a lot of my videos, and um, I think he's ranked pretty high right now. So let's make sure we focus up here and hopefully get the dub. We gotta make sure we focus up this game, cause good player. I bet we're both going Dartling Ninja Farm as well here. That would be my guess if I were to guess. So it looks like he's trying to anti stall. I'm gonna stall the rounds, go for a little bit more eco here, especially on a map like Glade. I think eco is definitely important since the rounds tend to get stalled a decent bit on this map. I definitely think eco is more important than just going full spaced eco and farms. So that's what I'll do here. That's what I'll do this game. But yeah, get my DJ Benjamin on round two, as always. It's going to be the first priority. Yeah, they're sending Space Deco as I expected. As I expected. Let's get DJ Benjamin down. They did the same thing. Fair enough. I am going to be leaking here because they sent me green balloons, but it's totally fine. It's all part of the plan, guys. It's all part of the plan. Switch to blues now. Start upgrading my Dartling as well. One more income boost and I should be fine. Beautiful. We're good. We are good. I leaked down to about 100 lives or so, but I mean, that's I think that's fine for some more eco, you know what I'm saying? I think that's definitely worth it here. And we'll continue trying to stall the rounds. Alright, start sending some white balloons this round because as always, I need to force the powerful darts. So that's what I'm doing. They're sending me as well. Let's just use my DJ Benjamin ability here at the start. And then I can upgrade it to powerful darts later. Beautiful. And then we'll continue group deco going a little bit longer. 500 eco so far, which is actually pretty solid. 500 eco is definitely good here. Okay, we're tied in farms now. Well, they definitely have more money in hand, so they'll get their third farm faster than us. But I definitely think we're probably in a better position because I have a probably decent eco lead at the moment. My guess would be. Obviously, they have the life lead, but I don't think lives are honestly that important here. We'll see, though. We'll see. I don't know how many farms I want to go for as well, this game. That's something I'm unsure about before like before Hydro Rocket Pods and stuff. Okay, they're going for one more there. I can go for one more as well, then. And I'll go for my, my um, Hydro Rocket Pods Dartling next. There we go. Beautiful. We're fine. I have almost 800 eco right now, which is great. That's actually really good. Let's please make sure we can afford our Hydro Rocket Pods on the next round, because I need to afford it for lead balloons, which is difficult sometimes. I think I'll be able to afford it here, though. I have up enough farms and eco while well, money, getting money qu pretty quickly here. Yeah, I'll definitely be able to afford it here. 100%. Yeah, I definitely think we're in a better position, because we're now exactly tied in farms and everything, and I just have a higher eco. So I think that our eco plan was definitely better than what they did this time. We'll go to 1k, so I'll continue ecoing a little bit longer. We'll go to 1k here. How much do you sell for? 
9,000, so I need 7,000 roughly. If I sell both of them. Okay, they actually went for a central market. That's odd. Why they went for a plantation if they're going for a central market there. I'll send them a mob in round 17 just to force a sticky bomb, hopefully. Because mobs on this map are, again, are really difficult, so you need to get defense quickly against them. Looks like they're good there. I'll send them another Moab. There we go, we forced a sticky bomb. So they sent me two mobs as well. So I just we just both sent the same stuff and I forced selling of dartlings and then a sticky bomb. So I think I forced more technically. In the same rush. We're doing good, we're doing good. We're we're both it's both really close on our sides, I think, for who's in a better position. This still for twenty thousand. Alright. Twenty five thousand. So I need 12,500. I don't know if I'll be able to afford this round. It'll be close if I can afford this round. Am I dead? Oh! The ceramic almost killed me. The ceramic almost killed me. I'm good though. Calculated. Calculated leaks. Do I send them fortified ZMGs? I think I do. I think I do send them for multiple fortified ZMGs here. We'll see if this, how this goes. Hopefully this forces them selling their monkey Wall Street. That's the goal with it. But we'll see. I don't know. This could be dumb. This definitely could be dumb. They're sending me BFBs. Interesting. They're countering with BFBs. We're, we got them, we got them. That's GG. Let's go! Let's go, chat! Yes, sir. Oh my gosh, I almost choked against Moab somehow. That would have been so bad. 15th, dude! We're almost top 10! We're almost top 10 right now. Okay, our next game is against the Furious D on the map, Dino Graveyard, and I'm going um the old strategy, Dartling and G Heli here. I really still enjoy this strategy a lot for um Dino Graveyard, so we'll see how it works. But my opponent also brought Striker Jones as their hero, so that's gonna be interesting. Whatever little they're bringing, Striker Jones is definitely not the most popular hero of the group, so we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see what they got to show. But yeah, they're gonna start with my Dartling right here. Stall the rounds, of course, early on is definitely gonna be the best best plan of action for us. So we'll focus on that. And my dark, my balloon trap will go right here. This is actually a really good balloon trap spot for one reason, and that's because of the um, obstacle. The obstacle makes it so none of your turrets will ever hit balloons before they enter the trap. But then the turrets can—you don't have to sell the turrets, so they'll actually still hit balloons after they go past the trap. So it's the best balloon trap spot I think in the entirety of the game. It's actually so crazy how good it is. Let's get up a balloon uh, engineer right there, though. Beautiful, beautiful. I think I'll leak a few lives here, but again, lives leak doesn't really matter at all for my strategy. One, because games pretty much never go past round 40 due to ramping, but two, it's because we have helis, so we'll actually rejuvenate lives anyways. We'll actually just rejuvenate lives. I'll send them a few blue balloons, and then I'll switch over to yellows here after I think this income boost. Yeah, I'll switch over to yellows now. But yeah, hopefully we can just stall these rounds really early on, so I can just get it more eco, because I feel like whatever loadout they're bringing with Ace, I think we'll probably outlast it. With our loadout. This loadout actually goes surprisingly late due to um, overclock and ultra boost with the MAD. It's just such a good uh, good combination right there. Such a strong combination. We need about... So this sells for 577 so we need about $2,923 to get the balloon trap right there. That's quick math for you guys. That's why you go to math class, guys, to help you out in BT Battles 2. That is why you attend math class, guys. You gotta listen to me there. Math class is important to help you in BT battles. Looks like they went for their bomber ace. The bomber ace on this map is actually kind of nutty, dude, because it goes against the grain and just follows the track pretty much um perfectly there. So it's super good. It's super good. There we go. Get that up. Beautiful. 
and he is continuing eco so i think this guy's just going to straight up eco strategy which is absolutely phenomenal for me so we want to go up get up my um faster engineering right quick really quick so then we make sure we're eating up all these balloons the faster engineering makes it place down the trap in um slower faster intervals so that's very helpful for me and we'll continue eco once i can i also want to get my oban obviously too because the oban will accumulate accumulate levels throughout the game which is very important too so i think one more Thune trap collect and I'll be able to get it down. There we go. Nice. Open is on the map. So what do we think their other towers are? Because Striker Jones, the Striker Jones even buff the ace. I know it buffs bomb and mortar, but I think it buffs like explosion size, or is that only for bomb and mortar? Because it might buff the explosion size of like the bomber ace. I'm not too sure on that one, guys. I don't exactly know there, but you can let me know in the comment section down below if you know. That would be appreciated. Almost have 700 eco here. I don't know when I'll stop group deco and just switch to space deco, but at the moment, I think I can still group deco and be fine to get my hydropods in round 11 since we're getting so much money from my trap right now. And even if I can't afford my hydropods in round 11, I can always just sell my balloon trap to get it up as well. That's always an option. All right, let's just switch to space deco now and get my dartling down. Now this guy's making a mistake here. When they spaced eco, he should be doing so with like pink balloons or something. Sending black balloon spaced eco is really bad because Black balloons have more than two times the amount of balloons in them than pinks, so it feeds my trap more than two times as much, if that makes sense. Well, pink balloons will just give you the same similar amount of money right there, so I don't think that was very smart on my opponent's end. Uh, space equal with blacks right there. I did not think that was the smartest decision. But we'll be at almost a 1k eco on round 11, which is really good, considering the fact that we went for an early balloon trap as well. That's very, very strong. And yeah, if they do send me some sort of purple rush, I'll be able to get up my Hydro Rocket Pods and I'll be absolutely chilling against that. Okay, he's... Let's get the... Keep this open on strong, of course. That's very important. They have Sniper. Sniper Ace. What is this loadout, dude? Oh, this is interesting. I can't say I've ever seen a loadout with Sniper and Ace com combined before. I really can't say I've seen it. So we'll have to wait and see how this goes. But yeah, if they send me a rush here, I will just get up my... Uh, should I just get my Hydro Rocket Pods as is? I probably should, just to be really safe here. Because I feel like any Sniper Ace loadout will be completely good against, so let's just get it up. And you could make the argument to just save up for a Heli um, farm right away right now. But the reason why I'm not is because Ecoing is a lot more efficient than Heli Farming, even though Heli Farms are the most efficient type of old Eco. Um, so I think right now... I'm not really a threat to any rushes, so I don't really need a heli farm at the moment. We can just keep equaling up a storm and just build up a heli farm once I get enough in extra money. We got Pablo on the map now. Look at Pablo right there. Beautiful. Still want to keep enough for a rocket storm in case they send me some sort of crazy rush, obviously. Some sort of crazy all out rush. Around 16 rolls around. We're absolutely good so far. Let's get up the downdraft. Downdraft is actually really good in combination with the engineer because any balloons that like get past, the downdraft like pretty much blows them back. It's really helpful against like ceramics and stuff as well. If there's tons of group balloons, it doesn't blow everything back. But when there's like ceramics, like a low amount of balloons that give you a ton of RBE, it can be pretty helpful. It can be pretty helpful there. All right, let's get a support Chinook. I can still afford my rocket storm with selling my balloon traps, so I'll be good there if they send me some sort of rush another heli farm i want to fit them as closely compact as possible because it's actually possible to fit five down this line only if you fit them really well so that's something i want to focus on fitting them really well there looks like they got up their first heli sniper farm now cool 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 each sniper farm is equivalent to 300 eco each heli farm is equivalent to 400 eco right now so if we have a similar normal eco we're um technically have more money than them because we have a two heli farms compared to their one sniper farm but obviously i don't know what their actual eco is here so you can't really say. Maybe I should go for a second balloon trap. This balloon trap's actually having quite a bit of downtime between spawns where there's not a lot of balloons going in. So I think going for a second balloon trap could be beneficial for me here. Just to make sure that we're collecting all these balloons. Normally I don't go for double balloon trap, but when someone's equaling at me like this, I think you could make a pretty solid argument for it since the balloon traps are just getting so much value here. They got up their elite sniper. Once they get up their elite sniper, they don't really need the bomber ace, to be honest. That defends, like, all the balloons, so they could probably just sell their bomber ace and just greet a little bit more with their sniper farms. That's what I would do if I were them. But yeah. We still don't know the last tower, by the way. I would guess, honestly, that's something like... It's probably something like 
um, bomb, just because they have Striker Jones, but who knows. Let's throw it on the trees as well. Alright, I'll stop at 2,500 eco too, I think. 2,500 eco is going to be a solid amount for us. Yeah. Now, something really cool I can do here is... So, my trees from my Oban got placed up here. What I can actually do is move my Oban down. And the reason behind this is if they send me DDTs or something, I'll have the ability back on cooldown by then. And the first trees can eat some DDTs, right? And I can use the ability again at a farther place down the track and eat some more DDTs. So it's basically like a double trees right there, if that makes sense. So that could be a pretty good tactic against DDT rushes right there. I just got to make sure that this top trees doesn't get filled up. So I have space in it to eat DDTs. Go for another heli right there. You can fit a ton of helis on this map, which is really good for us. This is probably the best um, Dartling NG heli map in the game, I'd say. It's built really well for this strategy. Oh, gotta make sure to keep collecting those crates. I mean, collect, keep collecting the, what's called, engineer traps. Another heli. We're building up these heli farms so quickly right now. It's actually kind of crazy how fast we're building up heli farms. Can I not fit another one right there? Ooh, I think I misplaced my um, helis a little bit. You should be able to fit eight in, or seven in this bottom left area. But I only fit six. So, yeah, that's a bit of a misplay by my on my end, but it's okay. A bit of a misplay on my end. We can also go for a balloon trap right here. This will be my triple XL trap if they do end up sending me DDTs. Or like a lot of DDTs, obviously. I won't upgrade just to like one DDT. We still don't know what the last tower is, by the way. Yeah, they still have not revealed it. So we're, we're blind. We're running blind here, guys. How much does... Okay, we can remove that obstacle now. I actually don't really need the balloon traps. I mean, they're giving me money. But at this point, we're getting so much money from my heli farms. It's not much in comparison. So I think we just kind of chill... And, um, okay, that tree has actually filled up a lot. Let's move this open over here and just throw it on the trees again. Because I think the top trees is almost full at the moment, so... Oh, never mind. It only gave me 198. It wasn't almost full, but it's okay. So we have max... Well, almost maximum helis. You can fit seven in the bottom left, but I was not able to fit it, so... We have maximum helis that I'm able to fit on the map right now. Which is great. Should I just get this triple XL now? Yeah, I should just get the triple XL down now. I can sell this hydropods as well. We'll get up another Dartling down here that can upgrade to an MAD later. I think at this point we just start saving up for an Ultra Boost, maybe? For... I could start saving up for an Ultra Boost, or I could just go an Ultra Boost list, list for this game. I don't really need an Ultra Boost, to be honest. But it's fun to get it up, because that's a tower... That's an upgrade you don't get too often, you know? It's such an expensive upgrade, so maybe we do go for the Ultra Boost. They have a lot of heli sniper farms as well. Look at that. They're all shooting in unison, too. That's actually pretty cool to watch. Every sniper farm shooting at the same exact time. Alright, we can get the our Ultra Boost now, start stacking those on that. I think I'll start sending them some space on round 32. Well, actually, I don't know when to start sending them, to be honest. It's hard to say. Because if they have bomb... Well, they don't have any bombs down. Like, right now, they'd struggle with BDs. They need a lot of defense. So I might just send, like, one on round 32, just to force a lot of defense on their side. Because they don't have, like, any BD popping power right now. Like, they have a bunch of snipers down, but none of the snipers are upgraded to .50. They just went, like, you can see how long it's taking them to pop down Moabs, right? Okay, they have Mortar. What the heck? How are they going to pop BADs? I don't know how they're going to pop BADs with their loadout. They have the biggest one, though. All the ladies say I have the biggest one, but I guess this guy has the biggest one as well, so I don't know. I don't know, maybe they're trying to steal my thunder. Alright, we've got a Burr. B MAD in the back. Let's go for another Bloom Denial System, just for ceramics. Looks like they're going to go for the bottom fifth tier as well, the Bloom Incineration, I think it's called. I don't know. Uh, they're kind of popping the BD down. They're kind of doing it. Maybe they might. They, may, they might get it down. If they get it down, they're actually pretty good against the insides because they have cripples and stuff to spot to, to um stun the insides. Let's we'll see how they do here. I'll send them another one though. Ooh, they're they popped it. They popped it somehow. They have Zar Bomba. Ooh, Zar Bomba, dude. There's so many upgrades being used right now that I've never seen before. I think they're dead though against the insides. Possibly they have to Zar Bomba it. They're good. Well done. Yeah, they're definitely gonna die here against these ones. They're starting to get up elite defenders. I mean, uh, full automatic snipers, but I don't think it's going to be enough. These are really strong Zoom. These are really strong BADs coming their way now. And I could just keep sending them. I can just keep sending them. They got up the Operation Dart Storm. Not the Operation Dart The Sky Shredder. Sky Shredder. That's what it is. Oh, I sent a non fortified by accident. I sent a fortified behind it. Yeah, there's a BAD that's not even touched near the end there. They're dead. They're dead. That's a GG. That's a cool loadout, though. I mean, like, lots of towers I've just never seen before there. They're going to counter me, DDTs, I think. Oh, no, they're just trying to... Okay, that's a GG. We'll give them a... Oops. Dude, what? I'm moving up so much. 
I was 15th and I moved up to 9th. That's like, uh, that's only 6 spots, but when you're this high. Our next game is against Mr. Um, Jose Flan1 on the map Koru. So this is a really difficult map here. So we need to make sure we don't choke because it's very easy to choke to stuff on this map. Very, very easy to choke to some stuff. So start off with my dartling right here. And the reason why I'm not placing it at the very end is because this dartling will have the powerful darts cross path. And obviously we don't want the powerful darts on our um, on our hydro rocket pods. So our second dartling will actually be the hydro rocket pods. So that makes sense. Looks like they're starting with their dartling as well. Fair enough. We'll... Stall us around a little bit, and I'll switch to green balloons here as well, just so I can make sure to get my DJ Benjamin down on this round. We won't get DJ Benjamin down on round two every single time. If we miss round two with it, that's kind of unfortunate, because we miss on some money. It looks like they're going actually normal Benjamin, so we might be able to expose that in the mid-game rounds, because normal Benjamin won't defend the region rainbow rushes and stuff, since the downtime between the after the ability is just too long. You can expose of it pretty easily. So we'll have to be careful there. Oh, they'll have to be careful there with normal Benjamin. I mean, Norman Benjamin's definitely playable on some of the uh, longer maps where the downtime's not really a big concern because the map's so long. But on this map in specific, where the map's really short, that's going to be deadly for them. I also got a little bit of group deco here. I don't want to go too hard on the group deco because it is Koru, but I'll, I'll group deco until like round five or so, and then I'll switch back to spaced, I think. I think that's a play. Or the play, not a play. It's the play, boys. It's the play. There we go. Let's get my farm down here. Beautiful. It's crazy to me that we're already ninth in the world. And like, literally an hour ago, I was 71st. That's so much, like, that's su such a big difference right there. That's such a big difference. It's kind of nuts. All right, we'll start sending them some um, green balloons. Well, actually, no, why am I sending greens? I need to send white balloons to force their powerful arts. Yeah. Let's use DJ Benjamin's ability here just briefly so I can deal with some white balloons before I get my powerful darts. Now we get the powerful darts up and we're chilling. Yeah, we're Jay we're chilling there. We're Jay chilling. And we'll just start space decoing now. I think I've done enough group decoing for now, so we'll just space. Maybe I should, yeah, I should target my darkling like this, actually. I think that's a better line of fire, so I don't leak as much what they're doing. We'll just copy their darkling targeting right there. I am still leaking, though. Like, compared to their side, I'm leaking so much more. I don't get it. I mean, our darkling spots are slightly different. Maybe their darkling spot's actually better than mine. I don't know, because they haven't leaked a singular life. That's kind of nuts to me. But they're going for a second dartling anyways. I'm not going to go for my second dartling yet. I'm just going to greed, bro. Why am I going to go for a second dartling? I still have 100 lives left. I still have 100 lives to leak, bro. We'll go for one more farm. Okay, they're sending me some yellows here. Let's go for another dartling. And we'll go for the DJ Benjamin ability. And we should be Gucci. Yeah, we're absolutely fine against that. That was easy, easy work right there. Easy work. Alright. And that's all we'll do for um farms for now. Oops, I didn't mean to send I didn't mean to send group D, group pinks their way. That was an accident. Well now I might not be able to forward my hydropods in round ten because I sent group pinks. That's a bit unfortunate. Hopefully I can still afford it. I might have to sell a farm to do it. Uh, actually, one more income boost I can afford. Come on. We're good. I only leaked one lead. Yeah, we're good. We're good there. I do not like their Hydro Rocket Pod st spot. Like, it's still decent. It's still towards the end, but it's not towards the end enough. I That can be a little bit more exposed by mid-game rushes right there. So, we will send them a rush here pretty soon. We actually forced them to sell farm. Oh, did they use their DJ Benjamin ability there? They just died against my purples. I don't know how that happened. Maybe their Dartling got mistargeted on their side or something, but I guess I'll take it. Let's see if we moved at all. We're sixth, bro. I'm literally moving every time more than I expect, to be honest with you. 
Like, three spots is not a ton, but again, I'm so high on the leaderboard. And we're at, what, six win streak? Six win streak, and I've moved from 71st to 6th. That's, that's mind-boggling. All right, our next game here is against Mr. Math Lord. I think this guy's at, like, the very bottom of Hall of Masters, so I don't expect to get much ELO from him, but we'll see, because maybe I'll still get a crazy amount of ELO based on how <laughs> based on how my rake has been moving, but who knows. Start with my Dartling right here, of course. And they are going Bomb off the rip. Okay, so they'll be anti-stalling pretty hard with Bomb Shooter. Bomb Shooter anti-stalls a lot on this map, so we'll have to be aware of that, this game. We'll definitely have to be aware of that. I'll start Space Decoing just to make sure I can afford my... um. DJ Benjamin this round, hopefully. There we go, get him down. He's balloon boosting on me in round three. I mean, I'm gonna leak a lot, but I won't die. I can afford my rocket, uh, my faster barrel spin right here, yeah. All right, uh, make sure to space decal this game though, because they are anti stalling really hard, so group decal will be less efficient because of that, so I'll space decal this game. Space decal the entirety of this game here and see how that plays out for me against Mr. Math Lord. They're probably going something ag really aggressive, like Bomb Sub, and they are going Benjamin here instead of Striker Jones, which is really interesting. Really interesting that they bring Benjamin here. Let's get my farm down. We'll send them some pink balloons. Do pink balloons force a heavy bombs? Actually, they already... Do they, I don't know if they'll force heavy bombs or if they can just defend this without it. They'll be leaking a little bit, but I think they're fine. No, they just went for the heavy bombs anyways. Okay, cool. Then we'll just continue farming on. They're sending me some white balloons. We can use DJ Benjamin's ability there briefly, and then I can build up my powerful darts here after it runs out. We're leaking a lot, though, surprisingly. Like, these are pushing a lot more than I anticipated, to be honest with you. Maybe I should just go for a second dartling, just to be really safe. Or actually, let's just use the DJ Benjamin ability once again, just to eat away all these balloons. All right, after this farm, I'll, okay, he is sending me some yells here. So do I need to boost this? I might have DJ Benjamin ability back in a second boost. Let's not die here. That'd be really embarrassing. We're good. We're good. We're good. Yeah, let's make sure we don't die. I just have to be really careful now. I'm at 11 lives. I'm at 11 lives due to his, due to his aggressiveness. If he sends me a region zebra, I should go for a, a third dartling immediately. It doesn't look like he's sending region zebras here. Oh no, they are sending zebras. I can just DJ Benjamin ability this actually because I'll get my um, hydropods here soon enough. Alright. I still have two boosts left. I'm just scared on my life count. I still have two boosts yet, so I'm not even in a bad position necessarily. Alright, get that up. Nice. They have submarine as I expected. I'll send them a ceramic. Actually, do I send them a ceramic? Why not? I'll balloon boost it as well. Oh, dude, they shredded that. What the heck? Why did that die so quickly? Wow, okay. I guess the ceramic was dumb. I mean, it was only $150, but yeah. I'm not expecting the ceramic to just die instantly there. We have three marketplaces now, nice. Just make sure we stay alive here, because it's gonna be a while till I can get a fourth tier farm here, so I think just spamming marketplaces early on is gonna be good for me. All right, nice. Four, oh, they're going for a bank. Are they just trying to save up for a um, IMF loan me? I think that's probably what they're doing. Just trying to IMF loan me this game, which is fine. We'll see if they, de if they mob me, I'll just get up a sticky bomb. Okay, we're good against that. Once I get $8,000, I'll sell one of these and get up a central market. Alright, they're building up a lot of defense, which is interesting, because I'm not rushing them. Get up my fourth tier farm, or Gucci. I don't know what their plan is. Probably IMF loan me again on once round, but I don't know when that will be. I might have to just counter rush them, because defending ZOMG is going to be really difficult, to be honest with you. Defending ZOMG is going to be very difficult on this map. Especially if they send multiple. Like, I can defend one, fine. But if they send, like, two or three, that'll be really hard. They are sending me a ZMG, okay. All right, let's counter them. Did they defend that? Dude, bomb is nuts. Bomb is literally nuts. That's a GG. Well done. Well done. I don't know what I could have done there. I can't defend those. That's crazy that they defended that many fortified BFBs like so easily right there. That's actually crazy to me. How easily that defends. I guess bombs. I should have tried to defend. I guess. I don't know. I thought they would have died there. Bomb is crazy. 
Maybe I could have sent them a ZMG instead. But yeah, this was a pretty insane video. I had lots of fun. And if you guys enjoyed it, please hit the like button and subscribe down below. Ryan Malik out. Thank you for watching. Lads. Peace.